Game three certainly didn't go the way the Dodgers planned. They fall to the Nationals eight to three. The Nationals lead the best of five series, two games to one. Andy McCullough, Lindsay Theory for the Los Angeles Times. Andy, it has to be all about the starting pitching right now. Clayton Kershaw didn't go deep into game one. Rich Hill struggled in game two. Kenta Maeda, he continued the trend here in game three. Yeah, it's like a inverted game of uh, can you top this? Uh, Kenta Maeda is the current clubhouse leader. I mean, it was, you know, he gave him very little. He went three innings, gave up four runs. Um, forced them to kind of, you know, incinerate the bullpen today. So they're going to have some tough decisions for who to start in uh, in game four. Um, you know, this is a team that was built on pitching. You know, that's what they did all year long. And they, they didn't get a ton of depth or length, excuse me, from their starting pitchers all year long. But they did get like four or five decent innings from them. And this was not that. Um, so for, you know, Maeda to put them in an early hole at a time when the offense is not exactly clicking was really problematic. Andy, you mentioned the offense, and it was working well at the beginning. Corey Seager once again in his first at bat, an RBI double. Previous two games, it was a home run in each one of those. But then when they go against the relief pitchers of the Nationals, they completely shut down. Yeah, I mean, the offense right now is basically like Justin Turner, Corey Seager, and six guys just kind of like holding bats. I mean, they've, they've hit some balls hard. They've hit some balls at people. Some guys have got singles, blah, 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 blah. But the only guys consistently putting together – um, well, the only guy consistently putting together good at bats is Justin Turner. Corey Seager is at least driving runs in and doing things productively slugging wise. But, you know, Turner is really the only guy who's, who's been consistent in all three games. And look, it's not really fair to judge teams on what happens in a three game sample, but that's what the rules are. Yeah. You know, you, you have to win. So um, everything gets magnified. And the offense has just been pretty much non existent. And especially, you said, as you said, against the bullpen. And it's not like. They're being shut down by Mark Melanson in the fifth inning. It's Sammy Solis. It's Mark Zepchinski. It's you know Oliver Perez. Um, you know they had a, they had to, uh, you know several cracks at Sean Kelly today. And look, these guys are okay relievers. They're not trash, but you know this is the playoffs. You're allowed to get hits against other good players, and the Dodgers have not been able to do that. Andy, you alluded to it earlier. But the Dodgers have a big decision to make who they're going to start in game four. It was an interesting scene in the clubhouse after the game. Reporters were waiting for Clayton Kershaw. Clayton Kershaw smiled at reporters and said, I'm not telling you anything that Doc hasn't already told you. But you have to wonder and you have to think they must win game four. That must mean Clayton Kershaw is going to be back on the mound. Yeah, I mean, there's two ways to look at it. Like, what is the best way to win the series? Well, probably the best way to win the series would be Julio Urias uh, tomorrow and then Clayton Kershaw on full rest in game five. Mm -hmm. But in order to win the series, you need to win tomorrow. And, you know, it's just – it's very tough uh, as a baseball team to look at an elimination game mm -hmm. um, when you have the best pitcher on the planet who wants the baseball and keep him on the uh, – uh, you know, in the dugout, on the bench. Um, you know, I, I could see a scenario in which – Kershaw starts tomorrow, and then for game five, they ask Rich Hill to go get three innings. But what about that blister? The blister's not an issue. I mean, you know, the blister, it, it blister's not. He's urina urinated on it enough. I think we've all urinated on our hands at one point. Um, you know, so I think Hill, you know, you could see a scenario where Hill pitches one time through the order, yeah. Urias comes one time through the order, and then you just try and make it work. But, like, you know, yeah, from a game theory perspective, it's probably better to have Urias tomorrow, Kershaw game five, but to win tomorrow, I think Clayton Kershaw is the right choice, and I think he'll be the guy getting the ball. Not an easy call for Dave Roberts. Do you play to win game four, which you must win, or do you plan for game five? That's why they pay him the big bucks. With Andy McCullough, I'm Lindsay Thier. We'll be right back here for game four at Dodger Stadium Tuesday.